Hey, watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And today I have for us the new Seiko reinterpretations of the 6105 8000 model. So if you're familiar with Seiko, you know they did the reinterpretation of the 62 Moss as well as the Captain Willard. And now we have the 1968 reinterpretation of the 6105 model. So in my left hand here, I have the SPB 313 with the white dial. And in my right hand, I have the SPB 317 with the black dial and black bezel uh, on the uh, black silicone strap. So uh, the case dimensions on these, I measured this straight across the case from three o'clock to nine o'clock or nine o'clock to three o'clock, however you want to say it, at an even 41 millimeters. I measured it at 12.3 millimeters thin. Uh, if you're familiar with the prospects, these are, I believe, the now the thinnest uh, of the group. So 12.3 uh, millimeters thick, 46.5, so pretty compact lug tip to lug tip. We have a 20 millimeter lug width, tapering to 18 millimeters at the last link before it pops back out to 20 millimeters at the fold over style deployment clasp with uh, the twin triggers here. We have a solid stainless steel case back. Underneath that is housing the 6R35 movement with a 70 hour power reserve. We have a non-signed screw down crown and we're gonna have 200 meters ISO compliant of water resistance on this watch. If you look at it, you can see the date window is at the 430 position, the crown at the four. So we do get full loom marker at the three o'clock position on this model. And overall, I do think the size is going to please a lot of us watch enthusiasts. Uh, I will throw both of these on wrist here in a second, as well as give you a quick loom shot. But uh, overall, I think the white dial for me is going to be the winner. Uh, both of them look great. Just the contrast on the markers. I think looks really great on this model. Bezel action, exactly what you expect. And I'm glad to report that alignment on both of these I think is fairly good, if not perfect. So I think we're good on that. And again, the black dial up close. It is a matte, flat black dial, but you do have a um, uh, color match date wheel, which I think is great. It doesn't stick out too uh, too terribly bad there at the 430 position. So Again, I think Seiko did a great job on these. Let me throw them on my six and three-quarter inch wrist The five link bracelet I think is a, is a nice touch as well. That is obviously new with this watch. So there is the SPB 313 with the white dial. And these silicone straps are extremely comfortable. If you haven't owned one, I uh, highly recommend them. Very comfortable. I know a lot of you guys, some of you guys don't like the uh, the metal keeper. It doesn't bother me personally, but the, the straps themselves are really comfortable. And this is uh, certainly not a disappointment. So take a look at the loom real quick. charge both of them glowing like a torch as always if there's anything i can do for you email me brad at brentlmiller.com thanks for viewing and we'll see you in the next video